Welcome to my Cisco Writing and Switching Essentials Lab Review. We're doing Lab 6524, Troubleshooting VLSM and Route Summarization. So, I already have my lab open. I have my address table information out. Uh, none of this has been filled out as of yet because, again, as part of this lab is building this out. And so we're going to go ahead and look it up. Alright, so what I did was I have a Word document that I'm working off of for the address spacing. That's what I'm going to be building out. So how we're going to be doing that is going down. I'm going to be, first of all, going through some of the background information. Go ahead and read through it. And we're going to investigate the devices and document the current addressing scheme in the addressing table. And we're going to go ahead and break down the host charts. Alright, so with that said, we're going to go ahead and get my chart over here. Let's go ahead and start with East Router. So get to our, our user exec mode and we're going to do a show IP int brief. So what we're looking at is on east on gig 01 172.16.52.1 on the next one 172.16.48.1 and on serial 10 10.10.1 .10 sorry we're ignoring the rest of the information right now. Let's hop over to HQ. Same thing, we're going to go ahead and do a show IP and brief. Gig01 is going to be 172.16.40.1. One Serial, this one is going to be 10, there is 10, 10 dot 2. Alright, so right there, it looks like these two are probably in the same network. What I'm going to do is connected to. This one is probably going to be connected to router east. Serial one is ten zero ten ten dot five. And that should mean that that's going to be connected to router west, but let's go ahead and verify first. Top over to our router west. Get to our user exec mode and again show IP and brief. Alright, gig is 172.16.58.1. Gig 1 is 172.16.56.1. Next is serial 000. It's 10. 10, 10 dot 6 and the next one is 10, 10, 10 dot 9. Alright, so with that said, alright, here is 5, that's probably going to be connecting to this guy, so this is going to be router west, this is going to be router HQ, Alright, so that's going to be right. Serial 001. Router West. Serial 000. Alright, East will be probably going to Serial 000. And this is connecting to Router HQ. Serial. Oh, okay, so here's 
HQ is going to have one going to east, one going to west. Alright, zero, 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 zero. Alright, so those are our routers HQ, routers to one another. Alright, so that's good there. Notice we've done our gig ports, but we really haven't touched anything other than that. So our VLANs, we're not touching just yet. Next, we have our host chart. Here we said investigate. Now we're going to go ahead and do the appropriate subnets and the appropriate interfaces. Because here we have, again, our interfaces and our number of hosts required. So what I did for this was I created a subnet chart. in Excel. First octet is going to be in the millions. Second octet, third octet, fourth octet. So again, all I really did was on the fourth bit, or sorry, on the uh, far bit on the right hand side, I started with one, I just doubled it. So these are going to be our total hosts. And this row is actually going to be our grouping bit. Notice our grouping bit basically is 1, 2, 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128, but then it starts over. And it keeps starting over. Where our total hosts just keep doubling. All it does is start with 1, double, and it just keeps doubling. So our first one is 1,500 hosts. So again, starting at the far right, does this support 1,500 hosts, yes or no? And all I'm doing is zero until I get to a spot where it does support 1,500 hosts. And once I do that, everything else to the left of that is going to be ones. So that means all of these are ones. I'm going to go back, change my decimal spot to a decimal spot. So what that really means is first octet, you know, let's go ahead and label this. First octet, second octet, third octet, fourth octet. So first one is 255, second one is 255. Go ahead and add up these spots, 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8, which is 248 and 0. So that's the R subnet mask. So, for our LAN 1, subnet mask is 255-255-248.0. And that's what we need to know. Alright, that's going to be for HQ LAN 1. Next will be for HQ LAN 2 which is a thousand hosts. So again, start with zero, oh, start with one, we just keep going and keep going. Except now it's going to be that. Because our thousand hosts will fit right here. So that should be 255, 255, 252 dot zero. So we're just not using those two. So that's 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4. That is 252. So why this spot right here particularly? Because we're looking for something that can handle a thousand hosts. Does a thousand hosts go into one? No. 
into 2, no, into 4, no, into 8, no, 16, 32, 64, 128, all no. 256, no, 512, no, 1024, yes. Put a 1, everything to the left becomes 1's, everything to the right becomes 0. Back to our Word document. This is going to be 255, 255.252.0. Next will be R. East LAN 1. And that's going to be 900 hosts. Well, this right here still works for it. So, 255, 255, 252.0.0. And East LAN 2 is actually also 900 hosts because again I'm just kind of going off of this we've already done that, we've done that, we just did that another 900 hosts so again let's go back to our Word document let's go ahead and fill it out 2.0. All right, so now we're doing the West LAN 1. And West Line 2. All right, West Line 1 has 250 hosts. So does one does 215 go into 1? No. Does 250 go into 2? No. 250 into 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128. No, 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 no. Does it go into 256? Yes, it does. Everything to the left will be a 1. Everything to the right will be 0. So here we have 255, 255, 255.0. Lastly, we have our Westland 2. And this is for 500 hosts. Does 500 go into 1? No. 500 go into 2? No. 500 go into 4, 8, 16, 32, 64, 128? No. Does 500 go into 256? No. Does 512 or 500 go into 512? Yes. Everything to the left becomes again 1. Everything to the right becomes 0. So again, here we're adding up 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2. That equals 254.0. All right, let's go ahead and make sure that we're filling out our chart. And this is 255, 255254.0. So that's how we got our subnets. So I'm going to go ahead and move that to the side. So using the chart below, determine the addresses of each LAN interface with the appropriate subnet mask. So that's what I did for calculating the subnet masks. Here I'm going to be putting them on their interfaces. Alright, so combination of a few things HQ LAN is on interface 01 HQ LAN that's this guy right here is on that interface so default gateway or the router IP address is this this is connected to HQ. Now I'm going to do dash LAN 1. That means my network ID. It doesn't really say, but I'm going to assume that my VLAN is the second usable address.
and this is connecting to router HQ. Second LAN. Oh, you know, let's go ahead and let's finish this all up. Okay, that's the appropriate subnet mask that we're using for that LAN. That's going to be the same subnet mask that is associated with that gigabit interface. Again, we're just that guy right there, that's how we calculated everything. So now we're going on to LAN 2, gigabit 00. zero. That's this guy right here. This is connecting to router. HQ. Oh, fapping out a few things. This is going to HQ LAN 2. Gig 0 1. Gig 0 0. Alright, if that is our default gateway, the second usable is going to be our VLAN. And what is our subnet mask? That's this right here. Alright, so that's good. So, this guy is done. Moving on to East LAN. That's going to be East LAN router, gigabit 01. East LAN, gigabit 01. That's going to be, again, Eastland 1's gateway. Eastland VLAN is going to be second usable, so 2. Since we're doing this guy right here, this is actually going to be going to East LAN 1. And this is going to router east and this should be going to again gigabit zero one so let's go ahead and do the next one east land two on gigabit zero zero that's this guy right here oh sorry I forgot the subnet mask Now we can move on to the next one, which is gigabit 00. zero. That's the default gateway. One. Oh. Here we're using the second usable for the VLAN. And this is connected to router east gig 0 slash 0. And this is connected to East LAN 2. We are using Oh, I hate this chart sometimes. There we go. East LAN 2. This is all part of West. Let's go ahead and I want a little bit bolder background. Oh well. We're almost done, so. Well, wait, why didn't we do the subnet masks for any of these guys? Because so far, we weren't asked to. So I'm going to go talk about the serials last. Let's finish West. And then we'll go back to do the serial interfaces. So West LAN 1 is on West Router Gig 0. That's this guy right here. This is connected to Router West Gig 0. Again, we're using the second usable. Let's go ahead and copy our subnet mask over. This is connecting to West 
ran to. Let's move on to Westland. So it's connecting to Westland 1. Let's move on to Westland 2. So this guy right here, you give it 0, 1. Alright, sorry about that. We are doing Westland 2, which is on gigabit 1. That's this guy. That's going to be the gateway. VLAN is going to be second usable address. We're going to go ahead and copy over the subnet mask. This is going to router west gig 01. There we go there. This is going to west land 2. Alright, so almost everything's filled out. Alright, this is one of my typos. So here's 10 zero, zero, 9. Well, that goes to HQ. Oh, notice here goes to an ISP. So probably it's going to go to router ISP. Alright, so none of these should have default gateways because these are all on the router. Got a little bit carried away. All right. Typically, router is going to be two usable addresses. Even though there is nothing in the instructions saying that, let's go ahead and calculate two usable or four total addresses. So, router. Does four go into one? No. Four go into two? No. Four go into four? Yes. Everything to the left of that will be come ones. So that should be 255, 255, 255, 252. Again, that's because adding up those areas, 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4, all of that added together equals 252. How do we get the one there? Because we're looking for four hosts. Two usable plus a broadcast plus a network ID gives us four hosts. That's how we get that. So with that said, 255, 255, 255, 252. That should be the subnet for all serial interfaces. And our chart is now complete. Pretty quick, simple overview of how to do that. If you don't remember your VLSM, go and check out my other videos. So we've done all of that. Now let's go ahead and determine the solution if there's any address errors. All right, so we have four, or we have six areas for errors. So error one. Two, three, four, five, six. And we're going to go ahead and kind of do them out. So let's figure out our errors. So let's go ahead and go back to our routers. Let's go ahead and go to east first. We're going to do the systematic one. Let's go ahead and do a show run. so we can verify our subnet masks. So for east, we are looking at the addresses right here. All right, so gigabit zero, zero looks good. 255, 255, 252. That's that guy, that's right. 
gigabit 0, 1, 255, 255, 252.0. That looks good. And serial 000, zero, zero also should look good. Yep, it does. We're using the correct subnet and the appropriate IP address. So router east should look good. So I don't see any errors here, but someone did point out we're not just looking at addresses. So we're doing the address scheme, then we're analyzing the summary routes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring back my Excel. And I actually want to go ahead, I want to break this down so we can do summaries for HQ East and West lands. So Summary for HQ East and West lands. So in this guy right here that we're looking at, the question becomes what's common? What, what's in both of these? So you'll notice 255, 255, 0, that's common. But here we have 248 and 250. Two. So let's go ahead and let's do the math. So that's for two forty eight. So what's common is just those. So we're going to summarize what's common. 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8. That becomes 240. So why aren't we doing these guys right here? That's because they're not the same for both, so we're going to ignore those. We're only looking for what's common. So the summarization address is that, just 255.255.240.0. So that's for HQ. Let's go ahead and let's look at Eastlan. You'll notice here they are identical. So summary there is pretty straightforward. That's kind of good. All right, Westland. 255 is common in both, and dot zero the fourth octet's good. So here we have what's un uh, common. Let's go ahead and break down the math. So that sorry, that's two five five. And that is 254. So it's common is 254. Because again, all I'm doing is looking at these bits, seeing which ones are common. These aren't common, so we're going to just mark them all to zero. Add up the one spots 128 plus 64 plus 32 plus 16 plus 8 plus 4 plus 2. And that means our summary address is 254. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to make sure it goes on the Word document. Because I want to be able to look at a few things. Here we have the appropriate subnets, and that's all good. What about the summary or the route addresses? So here we have send all of this anything destined for this network 
to that guy. So what we're going to see is, if we start looking at the different networks, 172.16.56. That's going to be West VLAN with that subnet mask. No, oh, so here's the discrepancy. Here we have 56 going to, sorry, 172.16.56.0 subnet 255.255.252.0 oh that's an error that should not be that alright so this is one of those odd things because the instructor guide specifically does not show that as the error on this router but 172.16.56.0 happens to be the network on these guys right here. Oh, notice here we're looking at both West VLAN 1 and 2. And to do that, I actually got 254. So even though this is not an error, this is still an area of concern. But the instructor guide is not really wanting us to look at that one. We're looking specifically at this guy. So we are looking at the networks going to our HQ. And this guy is specifically showing the wrong subnet mask. So router east wrong subnet to HQ LAN. We need to change that to 255.255.240.0.0. So that's our first error. And on this guy, we're all good. Let's go ahead and let's look at West. There's a lot more errors on HQ, so I want to look at the simpler ones first. Get to our global or get to our user exec mode. Show run. Alright, let's double check our IP addresses. Alright, those all look good. Going to those guys right there, 255, 254, 255, 255. Alright, everything looks good. Let's look at our forwarding sections. So, with that said, again, notice that this is the wrong subnet back to HQ. So, error 2 is actually. Same as the error on the east router. It's the wrong subnet. We need to make sure it's 255.255.240. Alright, so that's good. Oh, you know what? We never did the calculations for the summaries for the IPs. We just did the summaries for the subnets, and that's okay. That's why on router east, the first error wasn't an error. Yes, I didn't do the math for it. That's why it never popped up. But that's okay. We're only I'm looking specifically at the subnet mask for errors. Nothing really else. But yeah, you don't really want to double check summary addresses, addresses, and subnets, not just one. Let's hop over to HQ. Show run. Alright, so gigabit zero zero HQ gigabit zero zero. Oh, I got same IP different subnet. HQ gig zero zero wrong subnets. 
exchange it to 255, 255, 252.0. That's 01. Alright, let's go on to gigabit 01. Here we go. Notice again, wrong subnet mask. H2, gig 01, wrong subnet. You need to change that to 255, 255, 248.0. So there we have the wrong interface or subnets. So again, more than likely, we're probably going to have route input. There we go. Our IP route table is using the not wanting me to highlight correctly. There we go. We are using the wrong subnet masks, HQLAN1. One seventy two sixteen thirty two. So that summarized should be this guy. All right, that's really weird. The instructor is all kind of screwy. Uh, the next error is we have the incorrect VLANs because uh, apparently we're looking for VLAN addressing that does not exist. Oh, okay, apparently the instructions weren't quite super clear. Apparently we're also supposed to be looking at the switches as well. So let's go into a show run of the switch. Ah, here we go. VLAN for LAN 1. So HQ LAN 1 wrong subnet. We need to change that to 255.255.248.0 Hop on router 2 again, enable, show run. Now, here they, they flip the subnets. So on HQ LAN 2, wrong subnet, change it to 255.255.252. So yeah, there's a few things wrong. So six errors. There's the appropriate addresses. So we corrected the address errors. We corrected the summary. So now let's have to go ahead and hop in and program them. Let's make the changes. Let's go I'm already on Let's go ahead and start with East. Get our global config mode. So, config team. All we're doing here is we're doing a. We're getting rid of the route. So, no IP route. Then we're going to go ahead and add the new route. 172.16.32.0 Destination 10 10 10 2 Oh, 254 So east is good. Let's go ahead and take care of west. Get our global configuration mode, config T. No, no IP route. We're getting rid of 172.16.32.0. 255, 
and we're adding IP route 172 16 32 0 2.5 2.5 240.0 sending it out that guy all right so those are done all we have to do now is fix the ones for HQ so let's go ahead and start with HQ LAN 1 what I want to do is get my glove configuration mode so config key interface to LAN 1 let's go ahead and set the IP address IP address 172.16.32.2.248.0 LAN 1 is done. Let's go to LAN 2. Config T. Int VLAN 1. IP address 172.16.40.2.248.0. Two five five two five two dot zero. That's good. Again, we're pulling these addresses off the chart we did earlier. This guy. That's all at where I'm grabbing the subnets from. Lastly, let's go ahead and do the router. Get our global configuration. We need to go and edit at gig zero zero. IP address 172.16.40.1 is the IP address. Let's go ahead and configure gig 01. IP address fix is going to be 172.16.32.1 and that's it. We are done. Let's go ahead and check results. Check results. Everything is showing good. So the nice thing here is normally when it comes to route summarization and VLSM, subnet issue. That's the most common thing. So that's what we kind of focused on. If you have any questions or need any help, please let me know.